So now that we are done writing all of our notes, we are ready to write the summary. So what we want to do for the summary is we want to answer the EQ. So I have this up here. This is what we wrote at the very top of our notes. The essential question, what made the Fertile Crescent an ideal area for settlement? Now for this, you're going to write the summary at the very bottom of your notes. So after your notes about the conflict, go ahead and draw a line down underneath that, and then you're going to write summary. Now you're going to answer the essential question in three to five complete sentences. So a great way to start this out is just to repeat um, part of the question. So the question is, what made the Fertile Crescent an ideal area for settlement? And so now you can start out your first, your first sentence with the Fertile Crescent made an ideal area for settlement because, and then you'll write blank, and then you'll expand on that and give more information, more details. I want facts here. So I'm looking for facts from your notes. So you're going to need to go back through your notes and read through them. So that's the purpose of the summary is for you to go back and read through your notes and make sure that you understand the information. So there's going to be three slides from here that's going to really help you answer this question. The first one is about the rivers. Okay, so the Fertile Crescent was great because it was in between two rivers. Okay, and first civilizations arose around, around river valleys because of the good farming conditions. Okay, the river also provided fish for them to eat and fresh water for them to drink and grow crops from. Okay, rivers also made the travel and trade easier. Okay, so you can talk about that. Okay, also you can look at the Sumer uh, slide as well. Okay, so again, we're talking about Mesopotamia. We're talking about uh, the civilization being on the flat plain between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, and that the rivers flooded, leaving behind rich soil for farming. Okay, so that's what the fertile part of the Fertile Crescent means, is that you can grow lots of crops. Okay, and then you could also look at the farming slide as well, because they learned how to build dams, channels, and canals to control the water for irrigation. So irrigation allows you to spread the, the source of the water out into different areas. So now you have more areas that you can grow crops. So all of these are going to help you answer that essential question. So once you are done with your summary, you're going to have a few different options. Number one, you can go through some of your questions. If you have questions um, that are not answered in your notes, you may go around, do a Google search, see if you can find some information about that. If you want, you can write down some notes or you can just have that information for you to remember. Um, but oh, also, if you are done and you have some extra time, then you can go through, I've provided some extra video clips for you guys to watch and you can choose pick and choose which ones of those that you would like to watch based on how much time you have and what kind of what your interests are. So that is the conclusion of the Mesopotamia Cornell notes.